On my daily walk today, I have come across a, a rookery. Uh, and it's, you don't see the shadows going over because they know I'm here. They're okay with me being here, but they're a little bit upset that I'm here. They're nesting high, high up in the trees with their sticky nests and um, the communities chatting together, being together, looking out for each other. There's not much social distancing going on up there, but I would say that most of their nests are around. Yeah, a metre and a half, two metres apart. Maybe they're better at this stuff than, than we think. Maybe they know something we don't. I found all kinds of evidence of these corvids. Corvids are my favourite bird. They are so cool. Let me show you some evidence. There are an awful lot of sticks with an awful lot of poo on around here. It's very white dominated poo. Even the nettles have got it on. Other evidence. Bum, bum, bum. Is the eggs. Now I'm not quite sure why there's walnut shells around here. There must be a walnut tree somewhere because I found several of them. But you can see compared to the walnut shell how big the the egg is. And these are some eggs that have been been hatched. This one here has been hatched too. It's really cool. And inside an egg. I think the birds above must have put one on here. There, there's the other evidence of these tall, tall, tall trees. Is these round, quite large nests? There's loads of broken sticks on the ground, about the same size as what it would have been for the nest. So I can imagine that there's been quite a lot up there over the years. So the nests fall and then they redo them. You can just see the rooks flying around up there. They're really quiet now, but if I start to move, I'll get really noisy to let each other know there's a human here. You never know what you might find on your walks if you take the time to look. There's also been lots of sad finds as well. Some of the young that have fallen from the nests who haven't done very well. In fact, they've died. Let me show you. I'm here underneath some nesting crows. And unfortunately, Underneath are some of the, the fallen. So beautiful. You can see how the ants are taking it to that next stage. Because this little beautiful creature is going to return back to the soil. The ants will do its bit. I'm sure all the flies will come in and the maggots will do its bit. And after that, the insects will take it back down to soil, where it will become something else. <laughs>